3D printing is changing what it means to work with our hands. It has been used in medicine, food, and even to build homes. Pottery is typically made using our hands. So what can 3D printers do that we can't? And how can they change the kind of pottery we make? Taekyam Lee is a designer and researcher who is combining technology with this handmade craft, turning it into something new. With no prior background in robotics, he taught himself to build and use 3D printers to create ceramic pieces. It all started when Taekyam graduated from graphic design school. He no longer had access to their studios, so he bought a do-it-yourself 3D printer. Like when I started working with this one, the tool wasn't even available, so uh, I decided to make my own tool. First the printer took about like a few months to put it together and then properly run it. Once I learned how to work with uh, 3D printers, I decided to build one dedicated for clay. People may think I'm a kind of computer guy, but I'm not really, I'm really good at working with hands. I think that helped me to use this kind of making these tools. His tools could change the way we work with clay. Taekyam loves all things letters, fonts, and signage. A letter's complex shapes can now be created thanks to the intricate designs of his printers. Mainly, graphic design is about communication. To communicate with other people, we use kind of signs. His process tests the strength and intricacy of the printer and the clay. My first assumption was after the simple shape survives better during the printing process and firing process, but I was wrong. Actually, the details and the more complex pattern on the surface helps to keep its shape. So uh, one of the, my latest exploration is about like designing complex uh, kind of repetitive pattern, like a surface pattern. So like it could be, could be survived better. First of all, I need to design something on computer, which is using CAD software. And when design is done, you need to export it as STL file, which is stereo lith lithograph. It's going to create a triangular mesh. It has the X, Y, Z value. So it knows where to move this kind of machine's arm or nozzle. I have a five foot tall a giant printer. So load the clay to the uh, canister. And uh, in this case, I have to be careful because I don't want to add any big air bubble in it. Like small air bubbles will be fine, but I just do this manually. It's not just kind of clicking and then I can stay away because I have to basically the next step is babysitting. I have to next to the printer and then check, make sure everything's right. If something happens, I need to kind of kill the job and then start over. Or, you know, I don't know what might happen. When it's completely dry, I can do fire it and then glaze, fire, uh, glaze it and fire it again, which is cone 6, 2232 Fahrenheit. Because I'm a designer, many people ask me, you know, like how it can be functional, how it can be useful, how it can be practical. <laughs> So I've been always thinking about those as well. But as I said, I just love explorations. I think now I know like a lot about this field, how it can be used. I'm thinking it can be used for kind of public sculpture or it can be even used for signage. I'm always looking for some exhibition opportunities. Taekyom says that good design is about communication. The more inventive his pottery is, the easier it will be for him to find new ways to use design to communicate.
3D printers probably won't be replacing humans for a long time. We are learning that they don't necessarily do our jobs better, just differently. Taekyum's pottery doesn't tell us to replace how we do things, but explore ways to add on to them. <laughs>